Hey everyone, this is Tech Diagram Show back out again, and we are going to uh, review two phones today. We are going to take a look at two of our budget killer phones, flagship killer, budget flagship killer phones. So we have Realme X2 and we have Poco X2 as well over here, and these two phones are very similar in pricing and as well they compare they are really competitive at least they have they have promised to give flagship level um, performance and uh, at a very reasonable price so now first we're going to take a look at realme x2 over here we have 64 megapixel performance expert right over here we can see we can so it starts from around 16,000 rupees in India that it has 64 megapixel camera so we took a look at, at its specs and as we can see it has 64 megapixel AI quad camera ultra wide angle I am going to show you some of the photos taken by this phone this particular Poco Realme X2 I mean Realme X2 um, so it has four cameras quad camera ultra wide angle macro lens I think one is telephoto and one is primary 64 now it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G now this is this is really important this, this these specs are really important for a person who wants gaming who, who does gaming uh, in their phone and and who do not want to spend like 40 grand on a phone so it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G pretty powerful processor by Qualcomm right there 30 watt whoop flash charge I mean it's fast it's fast it's not too fast but it's fast um, it has 32 megapixel AI front camera super nightscape mode it 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 has promised to give night nice night imaging from the front camera from the selfie camera and as you can see it has FHD plus super AMOLED display we're going to see a fabulous display on this one 91.9% um, screen to body ratio as their uh, bezels would be really really thin uh, it's, it's, it's what they're going for a really clean really nice really aggressive screen to body ratio and a really nice screen after all all we see in a phone in a mobile is the screen itself so it has a fantastic screen fantastic um, snapdragon 730g processor and it has and it, at, at least it has promised to give uh, good photos out of its camera out of its four cameras so these three things are I think main over here also it has 4000 mAh battery long lasting power not not like Samsung A31 territory like 6000 mAh battery not that but still it does the job done 30 watt charger is also a plus point over here people want fast charging latest in display fingerprint sensor 0.36 seconds instant unlock so it has the the timing of the unlocking will be really really quick instantaneous on 3d curved glass so it has that curved design like we see in uh, uh, like we see in the flagship Samsung phones not in the s20 but in the s10 we have seen quite an aggressive curved display so they are again bragging about their um, super super powerful processor over here it is it is the main picture over here about the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor 15% graphics boost so gaming would be fantastic on this one 8 nanometer process technology 35% CPU performance CPU improved. also improved by 25% so here is also a claim a really bold claim over here 65% battery in just 30 minutes that's that's a lot for some people some people you know they go for work they go for office and they you know forget often tend to forget charging 
and uh, over here we can see it's just it takes us 30 minutes to take it up to 65 percent and we have got that 4000 mAh power battery which can handle about a day about a day of heavy usage now we talk about its photography of course because why not i mean <laughs> um so exceptional picture quality as they are showing but um i'll still show you uh, some of the photos that is taken by this particular phone so real makes to comes with all new 64 megapixel samsung gw1 sensor and it, they say that it is highest pixel count of realme till date so it has the highest pixel density highest pixels count tetra cell and 3d hdr technology for gorgeous photography in any settings okay so in any settings so we don't have to particularly go into manual setting for, get, for getting uh, professional shots um as you can see really 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 sharp imaging over it i don't know if this is just true but what they're showing is pretty it's pretty it's it's 92 16 by 16 69 tw 12 that's that's a lot of pixels that's a lot of pixels right there it's a 64 megapixel realme x2 shoots pictures with an ultra resolution of 91 16 by 16 12 we can crop we can zoom so the photo won't be stretched out and pixeled out it looks bad and they're showing this picture of this guy um Aaron Huey, National Geographic photographer, blah blah blah, all that. So these are some photos, examples of uh, photos that they are showing in their website. Um, looks pretty promising to me. Is I mean, they have their usual watermark going at the now. They are talking about Super Nightscape 2.0 clear low light photography, all that. So low light photography won't be an issue. Ultra wide lens. 120 degree about 120 degree ultra wide lens that's a lot 4x wide as normal now macro lens now 4 centimeter macro that's close 4 centimeters is close that's a that's a nice thing so there's now portrait there's, in the video in the video part there is uh, there is some stabilization going on with the ultra stable videos um so this takes steady photos as well in the ultra wide angle as well as the primary camera super stable as we can see in the video but I'll again show you some of the clips real time video book is take cinematic videos so it's going to blur the blur out of the black background in the video in a in a while we take a shoot a video in this phone it's going to blur out the background 960 fps slow motion video capture your brilliance so it has 960 fps slow motion that's that's really slow slow let's have a look at it that's slow that's choppy but that's still still good display fingerprint 0 0.36 seconds on instant unlock five dimension so that 3d glass that which they're talking about they're giving it the name 5d so there are three colors pearl green pearl white and pearl blue shiny colors shiny colors yeah it has dolby atmos audio it has it 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 promises to have really high res audio it has inbuilt dark mode um color os 6 smart os without bounds it has so it. now we'll, let's talk about poco now as we talk about poco it's as soon as we as soon as we speak the word Poco, Poco phone, we 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 uh, we remember the old Poco F1 that just blew in the market. It was just a wonderful phone at a wonderful price, flagship level processor, or in that phone, and that sold sold out a lot. So Poco decided to to make uh, to set it apart from the other Xiaomi phones so poco is an individual brand right now so it has 120 hertz display that's just amazing 
it's actually noticeable uh, 60 60 hertz and 120 hertz you can tell the difference very easily even 90 hertz anything above from 60 hertz your your eye can catch it here so it has 64 megapixel sony imx 686 quad camera array 20 20 megapixel plus 2 megapixel dual ill screen camera um talking about the front camera here and hdr 10 display so the colors will be really crisp cone in Gorilla, Gorilla Glass 5 so the glass won't break easily I guess Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G now both of these Realme X2 and Poco X2 offer the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G now now it depends on it depends on RAM configuration as well as software optimization to determine which phone is faster I think as the POCO, they'll perform mostly the same because they have the same chipset now. It has 4500 mAh battery, 500 mAh more than the Realme X2. That's a, that's a plus point on POCO's side. 27 watt charging, the, it, uh, the Realme X2 had 30 watt charging, this has 23 watt fast charging. So this has 8 GB plus 256 GB RAM side mounted fingerprint sensor now some people like side mounted fingerprint sensor some people like in display some people like at the back it doesn't really matter uh, all of them are fine so display is going to be really wonderful all the refresh rate and the fhd plus display the dual in screen cameras the um the rear camera would also be i think excellent uh, brilliant i mean because it has Sony IMX sensors, so it should perform really well. Um, these are some shots they're uh, showing us from the Poco. I'll, of course, give you the photos for both of these Realme X2 and Poco phones. Poco X2 looks looks promising to me. I mean, I, th I think I think. The Realme X2 looks a little bit better, a little bit sharper. A raw camera capture, so it has. Oh, the RAW has one letter less than JPEG. It has insane amounts of raw information which JPEG can never imagine. Imagine, be RAW, shoot RAW. So, so it uh, says that RAW imaging it shoots in RAW. Uh, so, if people, if if you guys don't know, phones shoot in JPEG. So, uh, JPEG has lot more, a lot less uh, photo information than. A raw a raw image a raw obviously has more in data and more information uh, on it so you can edit it better in post-production now there we go the new the new um, 730g Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, processor over there gaming will be absolutely fantastic over this phone and the design design looks pretty pretty good I, I saw the video of Marquez MKBHD he reviewed the Poco F I think it's F2 um, and that phone was that phone he said at least he said that it was well built so that's that's about it for the Poco now it comes in three colors matrix purple Phoenix red and Phoenix red right there and Atlantis blue the three colors so now we're going to um, now I'm going to uh, tell you which phone to buy now I'm going to tell you which phone to buy if you want to buy um, see it de really depends on the choice I think the camera on the on the, uh, on the realme x2 is a bit step up from uh, Poco, although Poco has Sony sensor sensors, deliver excellent photos, but uh, Realme is a step a step up from them. Um, in terms of performance, those these two phones will perform very very good in Geekbench scores as well as daily gaming. But and uh, now now you have to choose between uh, if you want a Super AMOLED display or do you want the refresh rate the 120 hertz refresh rate of the poco now you have to now you have to choose between these two so um, this has this has the 120 hertz display but this has but this has super amoled display both 
both of these phones have something yeah. to offer. offer. So that's about it for the comparison. The battery, the battery in in the Realme is also excellent. Um, but Poco takes it a step up. Step up. It has 4,500. It has 4,500 mAh power battery, which just which is just fantastic I mean it's just fantastic both have fast charging not not going to make a big difference on 27 versus 30 so that was it for the comparison let me uh, um, comment below in the comment section what do you think about this review and what do you want next till then peace out